Those socks are called happy socks, and I like that because people always smile when they look at my socks. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another case of people that are f***ing stupid. I totally get it that you might not have time to flatten your boxes, but people that don't think about others, hmm. Great weather, coffee, some drone flying, epic start of the day. I'm gonna show you the best way to catch a drone if you can't land it on a flat surface. Most important thing is to bring your drone close and then turn it with camera facing away from you. Then you wanna put your hand under the drone and hold down the left joystick. Ta-da! I want to make a quick follow-up on yesterday's video. I'm not complaining in any way on the position that I'm in. I am very grateful and humbled to be in this position. Amanda and Alex, <laughs> I'm missing Amanda and Alex a whole lot and I'm not gonna meet them until Friday because they're staying at Amanda's grandma and grandpa, which lives in the archipelago of the northern west coast here in Sweden. But I'm really glad that FaceTime exists. I got this sent to me a while back from a company that is called Inki. As far as I know, you can't even buy it in Sweden, but I thought we'd try it out and see how good this cheap gimbal will perform against the DJI RS2. Ooh, battery, small tripod, gimbal, ray. Cables, focus wheel, lens holders, we need to charge it. This is the first time I've ever seen one of these USB chargers. Huh. Let's have some fun while the gimbal is charging. This is such a badass car to drive. I am going to put the DJI Ronin S2 on this once again, but next time we're gonna reduce the micro vibrations that we got. And I'm really glad that I'm using a filter right now because we do have a scratch in the filter. <laughs> All right, let's see if the gimbal is charged. Yeah, that'll have to do. So apparently you do not have a lock on this axis on the Inky, but that is something that you do have on the RS2. One point to the RS2. The RS2 is definitely the lighter one of the two. I know for a fact that I can't show you what's in this box or this box. Not entirely sure about these two boxes though. Knife! Ooh! Oh! Aye! Some stuff from Manlight? <laughs> That's a waste tool bag. How awesome is that? Being able to have that 
Oh, maybe it's a perfect fit with my already mounted dad pouch. Thank you, Nanlite. Thank you, Tilta. I appreciate it a whole lot. I know for a fact that the RS2 is very easy to balance, so let's see how it compares. Gonna use the A7S3 with the 24 millimeter GM. Downside is that you have to have some sort of screw to be able to attach this to your camera. How are you? Oh, like, am I seriously missing something? Or let's see if we can turn it on. Let's see how it works. It's on. Oh, it actually seems like it can hold up. Color me impressed. I will say, however, that leaving out the ability to balance this axis, bad move, because now it just loses the stability as soon as I'm touching it. And this is not a lot of force. And therefore, I'm gonna give another point to the RS2. Let's try to get a couple of walking shots and see which gimbal that looks the smoothest. I'm gonna do ninja walk first, and then no ninja walk, and then we're gonna put them side by side and see how they look. Station test, another point for the RS2. Oh. Build quality. Um, I'm going to say that the RS2 has this one by far. I wouldn't say that this is badly built, but it definitely feels like a cheap version of something that you expect to be a lot more sturdy, if that makes sense. And when you look at the RS2, there's a lot of premium uh, stuff on this such as carbon fiber, super strong motors and intuitive uh, display. You have different connectors that you can use as well and the overall modularity of this is golden. That's something that I don't get with this. Then we move on to the price. Editor Peter here and I just wanted to update you about the price because I couldn't find it on Amazon. The only place I could find it was on this website. Photorate.eu and it costs 549 euros. I thought the price of this gimbal was 99 bucks. I was very wrong. But if I were to buy a gimbal, I would not spend my money on this. I'd probably save up a little bit more and buy something that is better than this because this is not a good gimbal. This, on the other hand, is a very expensive gimbal that does everything that you expect from a gimbal at this price point. And it's also very modular. I am personally gonna stay with the RS2 because I think it's a very good gimbal.